Okay guys, I was having problems with my connections at TryHackMe, so I had to boot up a whole new attack box, and I'm gonna be starting um, another machine for the FTP module. So if you see different IP addresses, don't be alarmed, that's what happened. So let's give it some time for that to boot up, and let's work on task number eight, understanding FTP. So after you read through this, we'll see what communications model does FTP use? It uses a client server model. What's the standard FTP port? Well, we know that if you just Google that, um, we get 20 or 21. 20 is the command um, port and 21 is the data port. So I think they want for the, the standard ports, the data port 21. And how many modes of FTP connection are there? There are two, active and passive. So let's see if this is spun up. Um, not yet. Okay, so I'm spun up right now, so let's go on to task number nine, enumerating the FTP. So enumerating, again, is just getting information and seeing what we can find out doing just some basic Nmap scans. So let's run an Nmap scan of your choice. It's so funny that they say your choice when only certain ones will work. Let me just increase the zoom so this is a little bit bigger for you guys. So I'm gonna do um, an Nmap scan I'm gonna do an aggressive one so that we get as much information as possible. And I'm gonna put in the machine IP um, for my FTP server, which is 10.10. .10. This will be different for you. You'll see it in your active machine IP area. Enter and it starts the scan and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, my scan is done. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top to see what information we get out of this. Um, it says how many ports are open on the target machine it only lists one and a lot of people were having this problem too that they only list um one is open but the answer is two uh i don't know we're all speculating that maybe it's implied that 20 is open since 21 is open so the answer is two just helping you out there we don't really know why what port is if anybody knows why let me know in the comments i'd like to learn that what port is FTP running on? So we can see right here, it's running on port 21. What variant of FTP is running on it? And variant just kind of means version. So it's running FS, um, VS, FTPD is the version that it's running. Okay, so now that we know the type of FTP server we're dealing with, let's just see if it's possible to sign on to it uh, just using anonymous for the user. So let's just go FTP, that's the protocol we're gonna try to use to connect to our machine. Your address will be different, but this is mine. Hit enter, it's asking for the name. This is where we would put anonymous, hit enter. And for password, we're just gonna keep it blank and hit enter and look right there, FTP. We're signed in as the FTP server. So now it's asking what is the file name in the anonymous directory? So let's look around in this directory. We're gonna go LS for list, hit enter. And here comes the directory listing and we see, look at that right there, publicnotice.txt. All right, so it's asking us, what do we think a possible username could be? Um, so obviously they want us to open this to find out more information. They kind of always want us to do that. So right now we're connected in this terminal to the FTP um, server. So I'm gonna open up a new terminal. Well, first, before I do that, let's go back to here, I'm sorry. So while we're here, we wanna get this um, file and bring it to our local machine so that we can read it because here I'll show you what happens. If you just try to do cat public underscore notice dot txt, that's gonna be an invalid command because technically we're signed in to the other commu um, computer. So you can't com perform the cat function when you're on that other machine. So what we have to do first is we have to push get and we wanna um, spell it exactly as it is there, txt. And so that transfers, you see how it shows transfer complete? That has transferred it back to our local machine. So I'm gonna open up another terminal right here and I'm gonna go ls to list the files that are now on my local machine. And you'll see that public notice is there, right there. So now that it's there, I can cat public notice dot txt and we're able to read this uh, looks like we got a letter here 
and the letter is um, signed by Mike. So we have a name. What do you think a possible username could be? I put Mike. So now we've got details about the FTP server. We know the port to get into it. And we have a possible username. So let's see what we could do with that. So let's move on to task 10, um, exploiting FTP. All right, so on task 10, what they're gonna have us do is they're gonna have us um, do what is called a brute force of the password. So we have a possible username, we'll just say Mike, but we don't have his password. So we're gonna try to brute force through a list of possible passwords um, to see what it could possibly be. So on this local terminal, we're gonna use this um, application called Hydra that comes with like Kali Linux and any Linux machine you could um, install. Uh, Hydra is the application and they're just giving us the um, commands that we need to write to um, right here they're giving us the commands let me pull this up higher so we can see it so basically we're gonna um, do these commands okay and instead of Dale we're gonna write Mike right there for the username P And we're gonna use, so where are we gonna get these passwords from? We have a password list that we're gonna use. So for P for password, it's gonna use the document that's at user slash share slash word lists slash rockyou dot txt and space. And then we wanna um, increase the verbosity and we wanna do it against the target machine. So the FTP machine that we're trying to get into, um, it has the address of, for me, 10.10, um, I think, let me, I can't remember it. 10.10.232.53. Okay, let's see. And we're gonna to try to connect via FTP. So basically it's saying use Hydra, um, give it this much time for each attempt for the user of Mike and for the passwords, it's gonna go through this list of passwords that's in the file rockyou.txt. We're gonna increase the verbosity so that we can see as much as we can. Our target is the FTP machine's IP address and the protocol we're gonna try to use FTP. So let's hit enter and see what happens. Okay, it's starting, so we just need to give it time to run. Let's get the questions up here ready. Okay, so you see it's running through all of these different attempts at a password, and right off the bat, it finds one. Login Mike, and then password. So Mike's an idiot, and Mike is using the word password as his password. So what is the password for Mike? Password, bingo. So now let's try to connect to the FTP server using, um, using that user. So over here, remember in this terminal, we went in under anonymous and in the anonymous folder, there wasn't much that we could see. So I'm gonna close this now cause we're done with that. And we're gonna try to get into the FTP server again over here, but we're gonna do it as username Mike. So FTP and I need to put the, um, address of the target machine, hit enter. Now for the name, I'm gonna put in Mike. For the password, I'm gonna put in password. And look, I'm in, I'm in under Mike. Now that we're here, once you're in a new place, you always wanna look around. To look around, we do LS for list. And we've got an ftp.txt document right here. So let's get that. Remember, we can't cat yet because we're not on our machine. So we need to get it to our local machine. Okay, and now that it's there, I'm going to um, exit out of this. So now I'm back at my local machine. I'm no longer in the FTP. So now that I'm back at my local machine, I'm gonna do LS and I see that the file was successfully downloaded right there. So I'm gonna go cat ftp.txt, enter, and there you've got your flag right there. 
And so on task 11, it gives you some stuff to expand your knowledge of what we just did in this room. And I encourage everybody to go and read these links because they were really informative. Um, until next time, I will come back and I will do in a few days network services part two. Hope this was helpful. See you then.